Are you ready to produce an awesome live stream show using OBS for your YouTube channel? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to line up your scenes so that way you can have a rock star show. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Chris Heidelbaugh and I teach digital marketing to DIYers, meaning on this channel, I talk about SEO and website design and WordPress and video and social media, things like that, things to help you. If you're a motivated DIYer to help you take control of your own online success. So if you're working on your own blog or website, maybe for personal or business use, would you consider subscribing to this channel? All you got to do is hit the little subscribe icon underneath this video and go ahead and hit the little bell notification. That way you'll always know when I create a new video or I go live. And when I go live, you can actually come on and ask me your questions. And we can also do uh, website evaluations and things like that. So if you have a website and you're like, hey, I want somebody to look at it, I'd be honored to. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so I'm here using OBS. Now, if you have never gone to, you know, use OBS, uh, definitely check it out. It's like OBS, uh, maybe all you have to do is type in OBS. You'll see it has this little, you know, black little spinny wheel thing. Um, just search for it on Google, you'll find it. But OBS allows me to create a show for my subscribers and on my YouTube channel. Now, of course, you can use this for Facebook and other things too. Um, but for me, this works out great because, you know, I can live stream from my computer and, and it's great. You know, I mean, I don't have to do it for my cell phone and I can kind of storyboard my show. Now, I want you to kind of look at this as... A, a show. Your show is a show, right? I mean, your live stream show is an actual show. So imagine if you're flipping through the channels on your television, you know, you might land on a show because of, you know, maybe the personality of the host or maybe the content that they provide. So, you know, look at your show like a show. Now, granted, in some of my videos, I'm kind of like, um, uh, and, and, you know, you, you don't want to like look at something like, uh, welcome to my live stream. Um, in this show, um, I'm talking, you know, you know, you don't want to go that way, but the whole key is if you can line up my show. So tonight is Saturday. Okay. So, you know, tonight I actually have a live stream show, so I'm getting all my stuff ready. So you're actually kind of seeing behind the scenes of what my show will look like, look like for tonight. Now, granted, I'm always improving and doing new things. Um, and so, you know, how I improve some of the stuff is I actually follow Nick Nimmin. So if you go to Nick Nimmin's channel, let's type this in. Um, he actually just had an OBS video this last week, which was completely just awesome. I mean, it would be worth paying the money for it. It was so great. But he's inspired me to, you know, do some of these other things and going on OBS and, and stuff like that. So definitely check out his channel. So how to set up your channel is, is very important. Okay. So I'm going to kind of go you take you through what I have now. You know, first off, oops, wrong one, is I have my live stream starting soon. So what this means is when my channel is waiting to go live, this is going to pop up for the people um, until I'm actually for sure live. And then I go into my intro. Now, my intro is just a generic, just, you know, computer because I do digital marketing and it pops through. Now, the problem is with my intro is I don't have it on a loop. Okay. But then I go right into my beginning screen. And... Uh, my my voice might be a little off from this, but basically what we're looking at here is my my beginning screen is going to talk about today's show. Okay, so we're going to be talking about news. We're going to have questions and answers, featured thing, which is a thing. You know, <laughs> it's just a segment, I guess, because I never know if each week I want to I want to bring something to the audience, and and it's not about affiliate sales or things like that. I mean, every once in a while there might be something that you know help to monetize the show, but is true things that I use, you know, I mean, as, as a digital marketing agency owner myself, and also a college professor, there's things I use on a daily basis for students and other people that some people don't know about. So I want to share those things with other people, right? Um, and then, of course, I want to follow it up with website reviews. Now, for example, this one here, I'm going to add a subscribe um, banner here um, that I got from Tuber Tools, which is another great place to go to. Um, and I'm going to put that here. So then I kind of point down. So this way I kind of talk to people what the show is about. And then I'll actually go into my YouTube show. Now, what's nice about OBS is I usually try to have dual screens. Like I have another screen over here and things like that. But um, what's nice about this is I can do studio mode. Now with studio mode clicked on here, I can see what's coming up next, right? I'll try to put it here. I can see what's coming up next. Um, but then I can also see what's live. Okay. So over here on the right is my live show if I was live. Okay. Um, and then over here is like my getting ready to, you know, go show kind of thing, you know? Okay. And, uh, following Nick Nimmin's tips again is I set up a stinger. Okay. So this is my transition. So my transition 
is to remind people to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Just a quick thing, okay? So let me show you how this works real quick. So if I'm on my begin screen, and, and this is where I'm at right now. I'm on live. I'm on my begin screen. Or th that's what I call it. You can call it whatever you want, okay? Um, but now I want to get into my live show, okay? So I click on this. I'm only clicking once because I actually have it set up where if I double click it, I can go right into it. Um, but I have it set up here, okay? I have my live chat ready. I have me here. Um, I actually have my, I have a slider of text here. I have my social media stuff. I have a transparent uh, ticker here. Um, just some cool little bells and whistles, right? And if you want to know how to do some of the stuff, I'm actually going to have a playlist on OBS stuff. So you're like, hey, Chris, uh, that's super cool. I like to implement some of that on my channel. Um, where can I find this? I'll make sure I try to link a playlist in the description underneath this video so that you can find the uh, OBS playlist I'm working on, okay? And I won't pretend I'm a pro. It's just one of those things where eh, it's working for me. Maybe you can tweak it to work for you, right? Okay, so I want to get ready to switch this over. Now, granted, this is a show, okay? So just imagine your show. How would you want it to look, right? So again, I have my starting sh starting soon, right? I'm fi So this, is, this would be live, okay? So I'm already live. My intro is going to be next. So I have it highlighted. So I'm like, hey, everybody, welcome to the live stream. Here we get, we're getting ready to get started. You know, I'm thinking in my head, okay, great. Let's get into the show. I'm ready. It scrolls over. I get my begin screen ready. Bam, I switch it over and now I'm live. And that kind of went somewhat seamless. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world, you know, but, and of course, like I said, I'll put a subscribe here. And then if I'm like, okay, now let's get into the main part of the show. Now this is where I would do my stinger, okay? So I'm going to transfer over and then I'm going to, I going to have this, you know, the, stuff and then bam i'm over here right and then another part of my show is i talk about featured stuff so i can have it ready here okay so you know that's what's nice about some of the stuff is that you know you can have everything ready so you can produce a, an amazing show you know it's just have everything lined up already and basically you know then i, then I have like website evaluations where i have it ready and, and again you could just fade it in okay i could just fade it right over and that's completely fine but sometimes it's nice just to kind of break stuff up to have that stinger. Like, hey, go ahead and subscribe if you're, if you're not. You know, that kind of helps me kind of boost my channel. And, of course, I need to work on my end screen a little bit um, because, again, once, uh, you know, once your video is done, see, I'm, I'm, I'm way too blown up here. I'm going to have to work on that a little bit. Um, but, you know, I want to be able to, once this is done in, in the replay, I need to be able to add my end card stuff here, okay? So just imagine your show as a storyboard, right? I mean, and just, you know, list out your scenes. You're like, well, Chris, I don't know how to create a scene, okay? Well, no problem. Now, I, I won't go breaking everything down to kind of show you in this video. I'll, I'll show you another video. But, again, instead of just having one scene with, like, you know, 500 things in here that you're just turning off and on, because I did that with my first live stream, okay? And it was horrible. You know, if you have, you know, your your live stream show here, and I have basically what I need. But imagine if you had 15 things in here, right? Or 20 things. And you're like, oh, you know, I need, I need to turn off my text. Or oh, I need to turn off this. Or I need, you know, t you know, it, it gets very frustrating, okay? So this way is quick. So if I'm on my begin screen, I just tap my next one twice. And bam, I go to the next one. I'm ready for my next segment. Bam, twice. And I'm already going to the next one. Go to the next one. Bam, twice. And I'm already on. And it keeps that seamless kind of thing. So you say, Chris, well, how do I do that? How do I make that transition? Because maybe you're, you know, you're rolling by yourself. No big deal. Just go over here to settings. And when it comes up, let me make sure it's on general here. Let's see. Let me make sure which one it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Video. Now, Grant, I'm not the best at this stuff. So uh, recording, stream delay, audio. Let's see, audio reconnect. Bear with me here. One second. Let me uh, let's see, projector, system tray, system mode. Okay, right down here. So it's under general. Should have stayed with there in the beginning. Okay, so right down here, you'll see it says transition to scene when double clicked. And that's what I have said, okay? So that makes it again, like if you're just like, hey, welcome to my, uh, you, know, uh, you know, YouTube channel, uh, you know, getting ready for the live stream, blah, 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 you know, just double click it. And then, you know, now, I have a, st a stinger, but if you don't, you could just do fade, and it would do the exact same thing. It would just transfer over into it, okay? Um, but then, yeah, so you're just talking. You're like, hey, now we're going to get into our show. Let's look at the live chat. And, again, it could just swipe wide into whatever you got going on. And, like, hey, now we're going to go into the next one, you know, and you're just like, whatever. Again, if you're doing this constantly, of course, that would get annoying after a while. But for me, I'm just like, hey, if I do it every... 25 minutes you know if people come in and out of your live stream it gives you a chance to maybe get a couple subscribers right just really try to set up your scenes where 
you know, you're, you have a show going on, right? You're, you're going to take your show to the next level. Now, granted, I'm not saying this is the best show concept, you know, ever again, right? I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where I think it's going to work for me. I mean, I have my transparent keyboards in the back here. I have scrolling text that kind of goes in and out. Thank you, Nick Nimmin. And I have social media stuff, you know, that pops up here. Um, and again, I'll get more into that because I, I have a blank slide in here so it doesn't get all weird. I have with Chris Heidelbaugh, I have digital marketing for DIYers. Uh, so with my show right here, people know who I am. Um, I'll have my live chat here when it's enabled, you know. So again, it just kind of gives you that feel of, hey, this is a little bit more than somebody else. And that's the whole key is I want to be able to provide for my audience. So hopefully these, these tips kind of help you a little bit. And you know, don't hesitate to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate it, if you're, especially if you're working on your OBS stuff and you're a DIY yourself. And I'll make sure I uh, create a playlist and we'll look at some of these elements that I'm using and maybe it'll help you too. Again, again, you can tweak this to help it match your style, but hopefully it'll take you to the next level. And thank you again for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for just everything. You guys are so great. But no matter what, I hope that you find success online, offline, and in your life. Take care.